Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing about how to migrate Azure DevOps project from one Azure DevOps organization to another DevOps organization. Microsoft doesn't provide any tool to do the migration. So you have to handle all by yourself. In this video, I will show you how to do the migration using a custom tool that I have built. I do not have two different organization. For the demo purposes, I will be using the same organization under which I have a source and the target projects are created. So both the source and the target project are agile process followed. In the source project, this is the source project. So in the source project, I have created for testing purposes, I have created one epic, one feature and a couple of stories and a couple of tasks. All of those are uh, associated with each other. So if I go here, I have iterations, I have three iterations. So each of these iterations will have its own uh, stories created. And this is the repository that this particular project has. This is my target project and it doesn't have anything uh, created it. See here, uh, I do not have any uh, iterations also created. And uh, likewise, like I do not have any repositories. This repository is a default repository. However, like the repository that we are trying to migrate, it's a demo repository. So we have a, a, a .NET Core application uh, that is going to help us with the migration process. We need to use the Postman to do this process. Uh, I'm running this uh, project. So now these are all the values that I need to provide uh, for the export. So basically like your DevOps, <coughs> source url uh, in this case this is my organization and the personal access token uh, so project id has said like uh, we need to identify the project id and the name of the uh, project so when you click on the submit button or the send button it is going to export the uh, all the workloads or everything like it includes the workloads iterations repository information all of those will get uh, extracted and uh, this is the json that uh, we are looking at so it will, it will have all this information. So if you see here, like it has the uh, epic information. If you come down, you will see the feature information, all of those. At the end, you will also have a number of repositories that is associated with this particular project. So now that we exported this information, it's time to import. So when you go to the import, these are all the information that uh, we, uh, we need. So basically like this is the source uh, organization URL, uh, project name, and who is going to execute uh, like who has the uh, access on this source project and uh, what is the personal access token and uh, then you need to have a target url and target uh, uh, personal access token in this case both are same just because i am using the same uh, azure devops right so in your case if you are targeting two different uh, azure devops this is going to uh, differ and the project ID and the team ID and the name of the project, it's the target project. You have to attach the exported JSON and when you click on submit, it is going to take a while. Uh, in my case, it is not going to take much of a time just because like I have only a couple of, uh, you know, work items here and repository itself, it's empty. So it doesn't take much of a time. Now it is done. As you see here, status code, it's 200 time to validate. So now if I go here and if I refresh this particular page, I will see all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, work items created. Now let's check the sprint. So it, it's all properly created here. Use story two, And uh, these are all properly created. And if I go to the uh, project configuration, I should see the iterations. Uh, now let's go to the repository. So this is the default repository. Now change it to the demo repository. So this is all, uh, uh, you know, migrated to the new Azure DevOps. That's all we have for this video. Thank you.